What's up, Drew Beauty family? This is Sat. Not the day of paradise out here at City of 2025. Can't tell you how blessed I'm feeling, guys. I've been at this been years and years. And uh, they're always new and exciting stuff that just really gets me going. So the guys just told me as I was looking at that crazy 137 inch CC folding TV across the way. They're like, gotta go over to the future automation. It's check out the crazy TV. So now I'm over here. We are a dealer for future automation. They're doing all kinds of custom FUD stuff like this around the country for you guys in these fully high end bills. But this big. Here, we're gonna talk about exactly what Future Automation is doing to make this TV able to rotate, twi uh, twist, and spin, and basically manipulate that TV to fit the situation. Dream Media has been known as your go to online wolf theater store. We have been diving deep into custom integration and are offering a Dream Media Plus program that offers full every so thick that you need to be a competent combined decision. We start out with a full ball system design. We lay out every single wire in the hull until you yeah, exactly basically future proof that hull. And then we go through rendering, 3D animation, fly throughs if you so choose so. In addition to screen size, seating charts, we are doing lighting design layouts, shaded design layout, all those fun things. Really complete technology integration into your customer pulse. So if you're interested in that, be sure to reach out today for a consultation. I'm going to take you guys uh, back here behind me. You check out this future automation flip with one of the sales rents. Let's go. To introduce you to our audience. Everybody meet Rob. Hi guys. I just got flagged down by my team and told I had to check out this Future Automations lift. It's doing some weird stuff. So like, Rob, just tell me what's happening over here. I know Future Automation is known for like cool lifts that come out from underneath the bed, come out of consoles, all kinds of cool stuff, but we've never seen this. What is happening? So basically what, what we do, we do an awful lot of custom stuff as a company. So it's not just the standard TV lifts that people are using. Yeah. We are an engineering firm. We do really custom stuff. So this basically is a demo of what we can do when we start to really think outside the box. Yeah. So basically we had a project in, the, in New York we were doing. They basically wanted to stash some TVs behind some columns in a conference room, have them come out, move around, do what they want to do, swivel and turn around, but also have them hide away again afterwards. So this is what we did, you know. I feel like it's like it, the electronic version of a shade. I feel like I'm watching like a Lutron shade right now. That's the thing, it's quiet, it's quick, it turns and does whatever you want for it. It basically, we took a couple of standard products we'd done, sort of merged them together, mixed them around a little bit and just gave all the functionality to the or after. Yeah. So I guess what I'm really interested in, and I know a lot of people are gonna be interested in is, how does it work, right? Like, do we have multiple motors? Do we got a motor down here that's controlling that mechanism? Do we have a motor up here? What's powering it? Like, I mean, you, you pretty much nailed it. Say okay. We're gonna bring this camera over and, and we're just gonna take a closer look at this bad boy, my friend. Okay? So yeah, it's got like a long rack and pinion track system in there that's doing your left and right okay. movement. It's then got a secondary motor in there that's doing your swivel movement as well. And a third motor in the back that's doing your port to land it. Can you see it or no? Yeah, we can bring it up for you. Yeah, let's see if we can kind of look at this mechanism behind there. There we go. And then I'm gonna scoot on back there. So you stop it there so you can see what you got in the back there is inside this big metal unit here is basically a large uh, sort of pivot mechanism. It's got a motor in there that turns that left and right. Second your motor in the top there does the actual main rotation and a long track motor in the top that does the whole left to right movement. So again, that gives us individual control over all three functions there. Yes, it means we can stop it and turn it at any point. It's obviously running on a demo oh, boat. Oh, yeah. And is this all just triggers? Yeah, it's all triggers. So basically, sweet. There's loads of switches in there. It's really yeah, the low wind state. Make it stop precisely exactly where we want, depending so, on the customer situation. All the swivel bits have an internal count system in, so you can do a basically a, a almost to the degree hey, right. rotation. Yeah, really. Because we would want to. Yeah, I could see this hanging from somebody's ceiling in the city. Yeah, I could see this um, hanging. Honestly, I could see this out by the pool. Yeah, I mean, the people by the pool. Like, it's great. Like if you do like a loft space, it's got floor to ceiling, solid glass walls. You know, you haven't got anywhere to put a TV on a wall. Yeah. You can hide this behind a column in the corner. We've done them before, the little door that pops open, the TV then comes out and the door closes. So you can really stash that away as well. Yeah. Yeah, imagine even a door is in the way, but really it's going to be the view. That's what you're going to have a view, whether it's the beach view, the city view, whatever it is. We want to hide that TV away, kind of like I was showing you guys that C seat over there, just a very expensive version of this. 
So really cool solution. Last thing I want to know is how do we power it up? I saw you pointing out some stuff over here. Can you take, give me, show me the guts? So as in what, as in how, how do you operate the actual mains power on it, is it? What? I don't know how do you actually run the main power on Yeah, like I saw you had a little rack over here. You want to tell me a little bit more about the internals and like how it operates? It's obviously a mains voltage system, 110 power or 240 power. The actual control of it, you've got contact closure, IR, RS-232 control on there. Perfect. You're doing smart home systems, it's going to be 232 in some format. Yeah. That obviously gives you a switch state, so they should do remote programming of that. But yeah, this is going to run through any home control system, Lutron, Crestron, Control 4, whatever. You're going to have to talk that directly and control that. Or you can go as basic as IR, but you know, it's just a 110? It's a 110 or 214, either. Either or. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all my questions. But, uh, is there a warranty we should be aware of? Two years. Two years? Two years day delivery. I mean, we have very little issues with any of our products, in fairness. Yeah, and obviously, because we're based in both the UK and the US, we've got on-site tech support, we've got remote tech support, all kinds of stuff, yeah. Perfect. And we are not going to talk about price because this is a premium product and there's going to be a lot of custom things to consider. The installation, the, the planning is everything with products like this, guys. Whenever we're doing our Dream Media Plus program, we always talk about laying the wires before the home's built. Like, if we can put stuff like this in place when you're building the home, easy. Retrofit? can be a little bit more no, not quite as easy but but yeah, i'm sure yeah absolutely well i really appreciate you Rob. thank you so much thank you buddy